Hello, another chapter of trees, a part of classical trees contradiction analysis. That was also a gift of Henry Schuller and a part of trees he introduced back in the 50s of last century. The idea of contradiction analysis and advantage of contradiction analysis is that you start observing, you start modeling of any real uh, product, a technology or process as a combination of contradiction. The message of Schuller was that eliminating contradiction you are improving system. Another very nice observation of Alshuler was that uh, among all, let's say, inventions, uh, there are inventions that eliminate contradictions and they should be called real inventions and all other inventions. So contradiction analysis, finding of contradictions and eliminating of contradictions uh, is the key for, for classical trees. So we believe that eliminating contradictions, we are improving the system and we find a, a kind of out-of-box solution or a final invention. Uh, there are two types of contradictions. Uh, I'll surely recommend it to start with analysis of, of engineering contradictions, a situation when you try to improve one part of parameter of a system and, uh, and when uh, another parameter or, uh, or, or a part of system worsens. And then if you analyze more, then you uh, arrive at the physical contradictions, a kind of screaming contradictions, a uh, situation in which you have a kind of uh, justified requirements to opposite uh, parameters or states of the same parameter. To what you want something to be long and short, war, war, uh, warm and, and, and cold and so on. We are going to go through this method. We are going to do some exercise. We are going to define it. We are going to learn uh, how I truly recommend it to get rid of contradictions, uh, to introduce, uh, to learn, to apply uh, Altschuler matrix, a table of resolving, eliminating of uh, engineering contradictions, and uh, uh, basic uh, general principles of separating, separation principles. Uh, so let's go and learn what they are. History of this concept, the concept of contradiction. Of course, I couldn't help uh, driving back to ancient China. Uh, Chinese philosophy, yin and yang. There is always something good in something bad, and there is also something bad in something good. So and then it would be, uh, would be uh, this uh, concept of yin and yang would serve as a kind of fundamental uh, background of contradiction concept. Uh, but coming uh, closer to, 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 to modern life uh, or to modern school of philosophy, we, we couldn't help uh, uh, pointing out that uh, the Hegel philosophy and the philosophy of, of dialectics, the logic of dialectics, was based also on contradiction concept. That is why also some researchers strongly believe that Altschuler was that much influenced by the concept of Hegel because it was a, a, a part of official let's say, philosophy of in, in, in Soviet Union time, that he just adapted the, the concept of contradiction to the analysis of engineering system. So there were two roots, could easily find yin and yang, that is actually like physical contradiction, and the philosophy of Hegel, dialectics, and uh, this part of, of, of materialism philosophy. That was. As always, we will try to build some bridges uh, between the concepts of contradiction and some chapters inside of trees and outside of trees. The links of this concept to other concepts that, uh, that people use in order to analyze or to improve product or a process. First, we'll start with the links to uh, other chapters of trees. Uh, as I already said, uh, contradiction concept is a fundamental part of trees actually the whole trees is based also in contradiction analysis and that is why these bridges are very strong and very wide uh, first of all uh, if we believe the system evolves uh, then uh, in a kind of uh, a kind of way uh, according to al Schuller principles of technical uh, or engineering system evolution then evolving from one generation to another generation system gets rid of contradictions so eliminating contradiction one by one, the system becomes more dynamic, system becomes more functional, system becomes more ideal. Ideally, 
when uh, when the system has reached its final point it disappears it does not exist as a pro or as a as a product as a material product and obviously if it doesn't exist there are no contradictions of course and that is uh, the, the, the the arrival point uh, if we try to understand what is happening when system becomes more and more dynamic more and more adaptive then definitely dynamicity uh, means uh, flexibility and so when this way we uh, we have to resolve a contradiction, let's say, to, to, uh, to have something short and long, so we make it dynamic, flexible, uh, foldable, portable, and that's uh, how system becomes more and more dynamic, resolving a contradiction, resolving um, a kind of situation when uh, two, let's say, mutually excluding properties are exposed to the same part of, uh, of, a, of a product or a system. Uh, uh, what 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 else parts of trees? Yeah, definitely ideal final result as as I already said, because we believe that uh, system is ideal when it doesn't exist, but the function is ensured. If system doesn't exist, uh, there are no contradictions in it. Uh, some contradictions could be found, let's say, when we do uh, functional modeling of a situation and we find that there is some coexistence of a useful function and harmful function. This coexistence could be treated as a contradiction because we need an, an element to perform some good function but at the same time or in the same place uh, this, uh, the, the uh, element of technical system generates some harmful unwanted function. It could be also sort of a contradiction. And uh, finally, in substance field analysis, we also have uh, very often, we can model a situation like we have some useful action and harmful action, and the harmful action should be somehow blocked. So, and this part also could be observed as a kind of contradiction. So definitely, ideal final result, trends of engineering system uh, evolution, uh, substance field analysis, function modeling, all these uh, elements of trees, all these chapters of trees are strongly, strongly linked with the concept of contradiction. Uh, regarding uh, some other elements of, 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 of design outside of trees, I would uh, mention here quality function deployment. I would mention here axiomatic design and uh, the principle of Pareto optimum. Uh, if we start with quality function deployment, uh, then as you know, there is such a thing called quality, uh, sorry, house of quality. In this house of quality, you first you interpret uh, customer expectation of a quality of product into a specific uh, en engineering specification and then you check what happens if you improve this or that uh, element of engineering specification what happens if you make system lighter or what happens if you make system uh, stronger uh, what happens to other parameters and then uh, you try to find a kind of correlation between them. That is, that forms that, that so-called roof of house of quality. So if you have some, well, let's say, positive correlation between some parameters, so that means you try to improve one engineering parameter, but you realize that another parameter worsens, it's nothing but, but specification. Sorry, nothing but contradiction situation. And that's, uh, that means that, uh, that you have some contradictions in your, in your design, in your specific design you're analyzing. Uh, if we uh, if we try to revisit axiomatic design, we we, we realize that uh, you there is again a matrix, and in this matrix there are there are design parameters and functional requirements. So the situation when the system has not the design is not good, well well the matrix has a full range. There are every everywhere there are some pluses. That means changing one design parameters you influence unfortunately several uh, functional requirements could be also treated as a contradiction. So the system with contradiction in, in the language of somatic design would mean that the matrix, the matrix, uh, so-called so matrix, is uh, non-diagonal, or even worse, it's called uh, like full rank, or uh, it is like full full type of matrix. So the design is not independent as, uh, as it is stated in, in axiomatic design. Other links to Pareto, uh, to Pareto Optimum. I found that this concept of Pareto Optimum exactly as a, it's a, it's a formulation of, of, uh, of a status of a system in which uh, if you try to improve one part of a system, another system worsens. In other words, um, Pareto studied the, the wealth of a society. And he introduced a kind of concept. He believed that uh, the system, the economic society, is, a, is a, in a kind of balance 
or it's, it's a kind of optimum. When you try to improve uh, a wealth of one type of people, one class of people, then the, the, the wealth of another type of people wasn't. And it's also familiar to the definition of engineering contradiction of Altschuler. If we improve one parameter of one property or one function of uh, one part of engineering system, then another property of another part of, of engineering system wasn't. So it's one-to-one -one the situation. If it is possible to improve something without watering others, other parameters, that a situation uh, is uh, there is no contradiction or there is, uh, the, the system is not in Pareto optimum. So you improve it until the point you realize that if you improve more than other parameter wasn't. So these are direct links to the concept of contradiction that is used in other design, let's say, approaches or even analysis approaches. Pareto optimum, axiomatic design, and uh, quality function deployment. Uh, what is uh, what is let's say what is discussable about contradictions uh, because uh, we cannot uh, we cannot leave contradictions the chapter of contradictions without finding something contradictory in them in them uh, first of all I have to say that of course unquestionably a strong tool but uh, it requires uh, analysis of technical system of parameters of technical system in pairs. So those who are, who are more comfortable with, with, with the kind of system engineering, when first you have to list a specification of, of parameters of technical systems uh, to be met, uh, it is a bit, a bit, uh, a bit off. Because in, in contradiction analysis, it is assumed that you find only a pair, two elements that are in conflict, and then you eliminate them, and then you, you arrive at another design. And uh, you will, you will, you have to analyze another, another, another parameters of technical system, and it's not uh, hundred percent fair. In this way, I would say that the list of requirements in a in a form of uh, quality function deployment, house of quality specification, when they are all listed, and then you try to check if they are con uh, if they are in contradictions in in this, this type of design or this type of design is more systematic in a way. And uh, another thing, it is a good thing, and at the same time, like in a physical contradiction, it's a bad thing, that actually in, in, in formulation of contradictions, there is a hidden request to know system much deeper, because it is assumed that you already know how to improve the system. Because uh, the formulation is, uh, I, if I improve the system by making it, I don't know, longer or, or, or heavier, then something worse. So it is assumed that you, you have to know something, how to improve the system. If we speak of something simple, a pointer, a chair, a flip chart that is definitely easy to formulate but when we are talking about a nuclear reactor or some let's say professional design it's not very easy for if you if you are not in the business to 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 say immediately how to improve what will improve this parameter or another parameter of technical system but let me end up uh, with something really positive so this really very strong and nice tool of analysis use contradictions and you will have a lot of inventions What are the conclusions on this chapter of trees? One of also fundamental chapters of trees, contradiction analysis. Contradiction analysis is a very strong modeling tool and the tool to modify your design. In contradiction analysis, it is assumed that you analyze existing contradictions. First, you find them, you model your product or your process as a kind of contradiction, and then you have to eliminate it. And there are two types of, uh, of contradictions, it is believed. Uh, first type is engineering contradictions when improving one part of a system and other part of system worsens. And to resolve, to eliminate this, uh, this type of contradictions, you can use a recommendation of Genrich Altschuler in the form of Altschuler metrics. There are standard contradictions, there are standard methods to eliminate those contradictions. If you analyze the system more, you will always, you can always arrive, and you should always arrive in the situation of technical, oh, sorry, uh, physical contradiction, in which uh, you have a kind of opposite requirements to the same part of technical system, the same, the same element of technical system. In this contradiction, the kind of screaming because you want from the same part of technical system to be big or small, 
to be warm or cold, to be flexible or hard. To eliminate those types of contradictions, you should use uh, separation principle. This is a very strong principle. And uh, somehow it covers all the principles of Schuller metrics in a way. Because separating the requirements, you eliminate contradictions. Is there are no, not, not, not any more situation in which improvement of one parameter or part wasn't another part. And the most typical way to resolve, to, to separate, uh, is uh, separation in time and separation in space. I think 94 percent of, uh, of successful inventions were about separating in time or separating in space. Uh, it's a nice, let's say, methodology, it's simple methodology, and you can start inventing just, uh, just immediately with this, with this approach. So you have to master a bit your skills of finding contradictions ev everywhere and interpreting those best practices distilled uh, from Genrich Schuller from those uh, 40,000 patents.